Well, hey guys, the FDA has issued another warning against a type of skincare product that I've been warning you all to stay away from for some time. Both myself and other dermatologists strongly caution against the use of this type of product. It can cause a lot of harm. We're gonna get into that in this video, but before we do, Make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you like skincare from a dermatologist. I upload content here daily. Hit the bell notification, it lets you know when my videos go live, or consider following me over on TikTok or Instagram. I'm pretty consistent on those platforms too, so if you like the more short form videos, head on over there and check those out. As we go through life, it is inevitable that eventually you're gonna have some kind of bump that you do not like on your skin. And as we acquire wisdom, as I like to put it, AKA age, these things are more likely. Seborrheic keratoses, people like to refer to them as the barnacles on the ship of life. They are these waxy brown to tan, stuck on, warty looking things. They can happen pretty much anywhere on the body. Some people make a lot of them. They're not dangerous, but they are a nuisance for patients and they can become irritated if stuff rubs up against them. Sometimes they fall off and then come right back. I mean, they bother people. They want them taken care of. Another nuisance bump, which is the skin tag. Let me know in the comments if you have skin tags that you are tired of. They're really common. Skin tags often are on a little stalk. They kind of hang just like a little blob of skin. They're often common in the underarm area around the neck and they are a nuisance. I mean, you're trying to shave and you've got this little skin tag there that keeps getting caught. They bleed, they become irritated. If you wear necklaces and you have a lot of them around your neck, they can get caught up in the necklaces. Some people even develop them on the eyelids. It can get in the way of your vision. They are a pain for patients and they want them taken care of. But herein lies the problem. Getting in to see a dermatologist is not always the easiest and most straightforward thing and it can be cost prohibitive. These skin bumps, while they are a pain and a nuisance, they are benign, meaning not cancerous. They're not acutely life-threatening and the treatment of them for the most part is considered cosmetic, meaning your insurance is not gonna cover the cost to remove them. So here we now have a population of people dealing with bumps that are annoying. So that is a perfect audience to sell something nonsensical to. Herein comes the at-home skin tag removal kits. If you go on Amazon, you can find tons of these with rave reviews, by the way. Who knows if they are paid reviews or not. You always have to be aware of that as a side note on Amazon. Not everything you read online is the truth. So buyer beware. But speaking of buyer beware, the FDA has issued a warning against these products, these at-home skin tag removers, mole removers, because they have the potential to cause harm and they are not FDA approved for the treatment of these issues. I honestly don't understand how these products even can exist marketing themselves in the way that they do as like at-home mole removers or at-home skin tag removers because they're basically making treatment claims and the FDA doesn't like that. I mean, in order to make a drug or treatment claim, you actually have to be an FDA approved over the counter drug or medication. For example, a 2% salicylic acid face wash can make the drug claim that it is an acne treatment. And that 2% salicylic acid, it has to be clearly labeled as the active ingredient outside of all the other ingredients in the product. These products that you can buy online these at-home skin tag removal tools or whatever, first of all, they don't contain ingredients that are evidence-based or FDA approved for the treatment of these skin issues. And they're making basically a treatment claim that they can treat a skin condition, skin tags. Just ask any dermatologist, there's a good chance that in a given year, they see multiple patients who come into their office who have harmed themselves using these types of products. They often contain very high percentages or very high strength of hydroxy acids, like salicylic acid, which is not a bad ingredient, but remember, it's not the poison, it's the dose. And oftentimes these at-home mole remover treatments have very high percentages. So patients can develop not only bad skin irritation, chemical burns, they can develop scarring, and worse, skin infection, requiring oral antibiotics to treat. If you've ever been on oral antibiotics, they can disrupt your digestive health, 
they're just, you know, not something you want to have to go on. Probably one of the deadliest risks though, in my mind with these at home mole or skin tag treatment tools that you can buy online, or I think you can even buy them sometimes in the store is that not everything on your skin that looks like just a skin tag or a mole is that benign. You could actually be uh, targeting a skin cancer like melanoma. People commonly think of melanoma as this, like dark black, strange looking mole that's rapidly changing. And yeah, a lot of melanomas do look like that. That's why we instruct you on the A, B, C, D, E's of checking your skin, looking for changing moles that are asymmetrical, have irregular borders, a bunch of different colors, uh, changing in you know diameter, doing self skin checks at home, looking for signs that a mole may be, maybe worrisome, maybe even possibly a melanoma. But not all melanomas follow this A, B, C, D, E rule. They have, you have melanomas that are look just like skin tags. You have melanomas that don't have any abnormal color, some that are referred to as amelanotic. So melanoma really is quite a chameleon of a skin cancer, not to mention melanoma is kind of an umbrella term for a variety of different types of cancers. Superficial spreading melanoma, lentigo malignant melanoma, acrolentigenous melanoma. These are a lot of actually very different cancers under the umbrella of melanoma. Blah, 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 all of that uh, jargon to let you know that what you might think is a skin tag or a benign mole could in fact be a deadly skin cancer. And by using a product like this, it's going to possibly remove the very top portion of it, but it doesn't take out the root. The root is down in the dermis. That's still gonna be there. So by using a product like this, it can actually obscure the appearance of a potentially deadly skin cancer and making it harder to diagnose if you do eventually make your way into a doctor's office to have it looked at. Not only that, but it can obscure the pathology. And that's by pathology, I mean, when you actually do remove it and look at it under the microscope to make the diagnosis, things can look kind of abnormal and it can be harder to diagnose and it can be much more difficult to treat. Anytime there is a delay in diagnosis of a skin cancer, they're harder to treat. They have more time to put out roots, take over, go down deeper. These are things you do not want. Like I said, these types of products, they typically have a very high concentration of salicylic acid. Very high concentrations of salicylic acid can actually be very harmful, especially if you're using them on an area of the body where the skin is more delicate, um, like the neck where skin tags often appear, or you're putting it under the armpits where you have skin on skin uh, occlusion, it's moist there. The, the irritancy potential of salicylic acid is much greater. They come in the form of gels, liquids, sticks, ointments, and there are a variety of like devices to pick them off, zap them, cut them. And that comes with a risk of bleeding, infection, and scarring. And there are a variety of like more natural marketed products that can be equally, if not more dangerous, which can really cause some bad skin problems, burns, etc. Because it has become so cost prohibitive for people to seek out specialist care, at least in, especially in the realm of dermatology, there are a variety of otherwise harmless things that occur on the skin that bother people, whether it be cosmetically or maybe they just become irritated. Skin tags and seborrheic keratoses and moles are common causes of this frustration. And so people just decide to take matters into their own hands. They say, why not? I'm just gonna try and snip it off myself. It's a sense of desperation. I totally understand that because these things are frustrating to deal with. But I've gotta warn you, and the FDA is warning you now, that the risks with these products can lead to far more harm than good. There are so many evidence-based, established, safe, and effective treatments that we can do in the office to remove these. Um, and plus, we can make sure that they are, you know, we can reassure you that they are a benign skin lesion like a skin tag or a seborrheic keratosis. And if it is something that we suspect maybe have some suspicious signs of potentially a skin cancer, well then, we have the opportunity to intervene and make the diagnosis. And by treating it earlier, 
then you have better chance of, of it not coming back and causing problems for you. So those are the benefits of seeing a dermatologist and having it treated properly, less likely to go on to cause serious problems like infection, scarring. Anytime I make a video like this, pointing out the risks and potential harm of at home treatments, I always get comments from people that are like, oh, just you know, reiterating what Big Pharma wants you to say which I've got news for you. When it comes to skin tags and seborrheic keratoses, trust me, Big Pharma does not care. There's no prescription drug that treats these. And so like there's definitely not an interest in you avoiding those from a pharmaceutical industry perspective. They could care less, um, honestly. There's not a drug that treats these so that this argument that there's like a financial reason for cautioning against things with established side effects just doesn't make sense i think if you're going to go down the route of trying to take matters into your own hands it's best to be informed of the risks that are associated with that um, for example you know some people still choose to ride a motorcycle without a helmet um, despite ample warnings that that is not a good idea. But it doesn't mean that we should like stop telling people you should wear a helmet or stop you know, promoting safe motorcycle behaviors. Um, yeah, I, so I don't ever understand these rebuttals that I see in the comments. All right, you guys, so friendly reminder for myself and the FDA not to use these at-home skin tag removal kits mole removers, they can cause a lot more harm than good, including infection, bleeding, scarring, and uh, potentially delay in the treatment of a skin cancer. And you don't want that because a delay in treatment, uh, not a good thing. All right, let me know in the comments though if you deal with things like skin tags and seborrheic keratoses. Have you ever thought about buying one of these? Hopefully this video discourages you from it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.